Hi and welcome to Like Totally Vegan. Today we're going to be making a meaty vegan lasagna and I'm going to show you how. So let's get started. The first step is to make your own ricotta. I took a 14 ounce um, box of tofu and I use firm tofu. Uh, you can use super firm to tofu too. I got the one from Trader Joe's and I just crumbled it up with my hand as you saw to make it look very ricotta-like. And then we're gonna add some flavoring. This is a cup, actually sorry, a half a cup of vegan mayonnaise. This is one I made myself and I have a video on how to make your own, so you check that out. And you just add that in. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of nutritional yeast and some salt and pepper to taste. Salt and pepper in. The vegan A's has a lot of salt in it, so you don't have to add a lot in. But the nutritional yeast adds a nice color and also nutty, kind of cheesy flavor. You know, ricotta is not very strong, so just need to have that texture and that color in the lasagna to make it right. And it's okay that it's a little juicy because we're using dry lasagna noodles and it will need all the liquid it can get. I'm gonna try it. That's good. The first layer, we're gonna use some, I just got some generic mushroom pasta sauce. Just double check it and make sure there's no cheese in it. They like to sneak cheese in there for you. That's no fun. I put a little bit down the bottom, a little starter. And just kind of put it around there and then we're going to add the noodles and I know back in the day you would have to cook the noodles separately but now you don't have to do that you can just put the noodles in dry which is always much easier and faster and they don't fall apart because you're handling crazy noodles that are breaking and wet. Just kind of break it to fit. Now we're going to add whatever you'd like. So I'm going to add some of the ricotta. An easy way to do it is put it in blops and then spread it around after because otherwise the it'll get on the noodles and it makes some kind of pain. So and it's not a perfect science, just kind of spread it around. We're gonna do two layers probably. Now we're going to add some, this is Light Life Sausage. I think it's the best sausage out there. It comes in a tube and we just, I cook it up in patties and then um, use my food processor to, to blend it up to a crumb. You can do that. You can do it by hand, whatever you'd like. And then I'm going to pour some more sauce on top of that. And once you do all the preparation, it goes pretty fast. Oh, by the way, I have um, preheated my oven to 350 degrees. All right, and then here I have a 10 ounce package of um, chopped spinach, frozen chopped spinach. I'm going to put half of it on. You can use your own spinach. I actually, you can zap it in the microwave on a plate and press out the, the water so that it's dry because you want dry vegetables. Like things like zucchini and other vegetables can have a lot of moisture and make it too runny. So this I know works. And then you put on another layer. 
And I'm going to do it on the other side here. Messy hands and all. And you're probably wondering, where is the cheese? Well, I one time accidentally forgot to put cheese in my lasagna. I was so excited. I was I'm going crazy, busy, and I forgot to put it on. And therefore, I tried it and actually it tasted pretty good. So, cheese is very expensive. Like this um, pack of provolone, follow your heart provolone, is about $5. And if you're going to be putting a bunch of cheese in here, it will add up. You can make your own bechamel sauce and put it in. But it's so moist and wonderful that you won't even miss it, I swear. I put cheese on top, that's why we have this. And then we have a go veggie um, shaky kind of parmesan. But, I mean, this is, this is kind of the basic recipe. You can add whatever cheeses you want, or if you don't want to add cheese, just on the top, whatever you want. This is very versatile. But the only problem is you have to watch out for wet vegetables. That's the one thing that can cause an issue. All right, let's put the rest of this on. Oh, you got to have the light life. Light life sausage. Make sure it says sausage because they also have a ground beef that looks very similar. The sausage has a great flavor. And we're going to... Put on some more red sauce. I'm gonna save a little bit for the top. That's the rest of the spinach. I might even speed all this up. And then the last layer, more cheese. I'm sorry, more noodles, not cheese. And a little trick I do is I actually fill the jars of water with, or sorry, the jar, the sauce jars with a bit of water to get the rest of the jar, the sauce that's caught in the jar. Putting the cheese on top. I think this will be all fast motion, so I'm not going to sock. Okay. Here's the cheese on top. And then we'll just put these in half. Hmm. Some foil, but the trick is to spray the foil with a non stick spray. Otherwise, all the food will stick to. Before, and we don't want that. Nice and tight. And we'll 
put in the oven, 350 degree oven for, let's see, 45 minutes. The lasagna. And take off the foil. And then we're going to bake it for another 15 minutes. taken the lasagna out of the oven and I have let it sit for about 15 minutes just to kind of cool down and kind of thicken up a little bit and now it's time to dry it. So let's dig into the sucker. Oh yeah, I can feel the, the pasta is cooked. There is no need to cook pasta beforehand for lasagna. See here all the cheese on top, looking good. All right. And what's nice about it, the, the pasta soaks up all the yummy, delicious flavor. So it's kind of like having old time lasagna the next day when everything got together, it's already there. So let's grab a fork. Or a spoon. Give it a try. I want to get a bite with that. That follow your heart. Sorry, the light life sausage is my favorite. Woo! Hot. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That was good. <laughs> it's hot. Ow, farts. <laughs> I forgot to turn the lights on. Oh well. We also like to shake a little go veggie parmesan. It's vegan. It kind of tastes like the craft stuff that you get back in the day. Yeah, this makes it perfect. Hey, that tastes great. Well, thank you so much for watching. And let me know if you try this with your friends and family and let me know what they think. And we'll talk to you and see you next time. Okay, bye.